Just to get it out there from the onset, this is not clickbait. I have a, a Becky Lynch slideshow thing at the end of this, if that's what you're here for. Uh, if, if you're interested in why, hang around. Uh, this is probably not going to be particularly long. Uh, or if you just want to watch the Becky Lynch thing, it's, it's nothing spectacular, but it's at the end of the video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been working a lot of hours, and so I decided, well, this will be a nice, easy thing for me to do. As I was going, decided to do this, as I said, I've been working a lot of hours. Did I say that? I don't even remember now. I've been working a lot, <laughs> I've been working a lot of hours recently and have had no time to work on anything. And so I thought, well, this would, this could be a good time to do a writing with James. And, and also the fact that uh, if you have noticed or not, uh, YouTube has changed their, their music library it's a little bit different now uh, you can actually but it's also very confusing the, the, all the free music is still there all the music that was there before that you can just use and uh, a lot of it you don't have to give any kind of credit or attribution but it's all free to use but then you also have the option of uh, paying a, a small fee a small licensing fee to, to use other kind of music and when I first looked at it I was like well let's let's see what kind of names they got on here and uh, you know my musical tastes are kind of all over the board I don't really have any kind of particular kind of music I like to listen to I just listen, just like what I like and uh, again you know talking to Harker Ryan uh, Bowling for Soup came up that kind of got me off on I've kind of been rediscovering them I hadn't listened to them much lately I kind of rediscovered their music and I've been going back and and listening to some of their stuff and when I decided to do this I thought well that could be like a, a neat little thing to put at the end of it I can just do because uh, you know I, I looked in the, the music library and they do have some bowling for soup listed there and it says that you cannot monetize the video but your video will not be taken down and I was like well that's that's cool I can I can just do a little bowling for a soup tribute and, and one of my favorite songs of theirs is Almost. I can, I can use that, and hey, that'd be great. So I went and, you know, kind of hard to get video of Bowling for Soup that's just not uh, copyrighted. But I went and collected a bunch of pictures, and I thought, okay, well, I can just do a little slideshow and have Almost playing. Then I went to download it, and you can't download it. So apparently, if you already have the song on your computer, you can put it in a song, or you can put it in a video. And it won't be taken down, but they don't. You, it's not available to you through the YouTube library. So then I started thinking, well, does that mean that they don't explain it very well? Because you can still get a copyright claim. Your video will not come down. You can't monetize it, but there's a copyright claim against you. Would you still get the copyright claim? There's somebody on a dirt bike or something. I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. Let me look around, and they have an option, License Available. So I click that box, and I can't get a Bowling for Soup song, but they had a cover of a Bowling for Soup song on there by a guy named Austin Upchurch. I was like, well, that's an option. I can I can use that, still do the, the slideshow, and still a Bowling for Soup song, even though it's not Bowling for Soup performing it. So I got everything ready, and I went to download that song, not available for download. And I'm like, well, what the heck? And okay, uh, which I forgot to mention, for that particular song, it's a revenue sharing song. There are several songs on there's revenue sharing. So if you use that song, you can monetize, but then you split the revenue with the copyright holder. And I thought, okay, well, that's cool. But you can't download the song. You can't, it's just one of those, if you have the song, you can use it, but you can't download it from YouTube. I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for Austin Upchurch's cover of Almost. So, okay, I guess I'm going to have to scrap that. Okay, and as part of this new library, you can uh, pay for a license. So they have, you know, depending on, and the price of it depends on your reach. And uh, 
to, to kind of introduce this, they have given people their, your first upload, your first use of one of these songs, up to $15, YouTube will cover it. So it wouldn't cost me anything. And I found a, uh, I can't even remember the name of the song or the band that performs it, but it was kind of that same genre of music, kind of indie, al alternative, punk rock kind of, kind of thing. Uh, they had very much a bowling for soup kind of sound. <clears throat> so I thought, well, it's a little odd, but I can still do the homage to Bowling for Soup. I can use this song. It was, it was a pretty decent song. Was, okay, I got a $15 credit. And it, it would have cost me like $9.99, but I had a $15, up to $15 credit. So I thought, okay, well, it won't cost me anything. And so I go to download the song, and this little page comes up. And it said something like, uh, license, uh, license, what was it? Length of license or something like that. And so I was like, is it two years? And I'm like, well, what does that mean? So I clicked for more information. And apparently, if I use it now, yeah, I can monetize and I won't have to, to do anything more. And But apparently this, this agreement changes in two years. So I'm like, well, what is it going to change? I don't want to be sitting there two years down the road and all of a sudden somebody come up and all of a sudden, now all of a sudden I get a copyright strike if they decide they don't want to re-up this, this uh, agreement. Or is it going to cost me more? Would I have to take a video down? I don't want to have to mess with all that. So I took through the free music and it just kept getting farther and farther away from Bowling for Soup. So let's just, let's just drop that and I'd moved on to something else and figured out that wasn't going to work. And then I said, okay, this was supposed to be like a quick little, not much work, thrown together thing. And it's turning into way too much work. <laughs> so from Bowling for Soup and Almost, I ended up on Becky Lynch, <laughs> Becky Lynch with uh, this, uh, this free YouTube music. <laughs> Just because I was determined to do something, some kind of slideshow, some kind of not that great slideshow at the end of end of this writing with James because I knew it was going to be kind of a short one and this is not short at all. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, Becky Lynch, because I've been doing a lot of wrestling stuff on the channel and, and we'll uh, continue to, to do so. Uh, of course, I've been talking about mostly classic wrestling. One of, well, probably my favorite wrestler right now is actually Becky Lynch. And so I thought, well, let's, I can just do a, a quick little uh, slideshow for Becky Lynch. Uh, as far as the stuff today, I don't really watch that much. And if Becky Lynch, Sami Zayn, or Cody Rhodes in there, especially Becky Lynch, I really don't care to watch. So to end this writing with James, I just wanted to do a, a Becky Lynch slideshow. It's uh, three minutes or so long. I am going to leave a link to the Bowling for Soup YouTube page if you want to check them out. If you're not familiar with Bowling for Soup, I will encourage you to go give their page a look. This was very much thrown together, <laughs> as you can probably tell, longer than I expected it, than I intended it to be. But thank you for coming along uh, for the ride. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Hope you enjoyed the rambling. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And I will see you next time. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how
Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop 